Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. This is the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza, joined today by Tom Torlickson, the State Superintendent of Public Instruction. Good to have you here, Tom. Glad to be here. You brought with you a blueprint for great schools. In this is a report uh, on education and the future of education. What have we learned so far? Well, we, we have a master plan here, a plan of action. Good news is there's a lot of optimism, a lot of enthusiasm. You know, schools have been beset with cuts and, and troubles and a lot of finger pointing uh, about what's going on and are we, are we making progress. This report outlines a positive pathway to greater success for our students. It focuses in three major areas with 59 experts that came together, top leaders in education around California to help me put this plan together. Break it down for us if you can. I mean, we, we know we're having major issues in education. We've got teachers being laid off. We've got dropout rates we have to deal with. We have to do a deal with different communities coming into our, our state and, 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 and through our education system. What does this do one-on-one -on -one for these kids Well, for the these teachers? The first big area of focus is 21st century learning skills, making our education more relevant. We hear this from parents, we hear this from business leaders, and we hear it from the students. They want to be engaged in the real world and they want to know that the learning they're doing, the classes they're taking, apply to something that will benefit them later. So we have career technical education as part of this 21st century learning skills. We have science education. We need so many more engineers and technicians and scientists than we're producing from our schools. And it's fun and exciting and we have ways of building that program. We have an initiative also as part of this called No Child Left Offline. <laughs> we want to have every child, every student in California be able to have one-to-one -one computing, have a computer uh, internet access device during the day to, to tap the rich learning. So we, we believe that we can have our schools focus more on teamwork, problem solving, and not just multiple chess, you know, taking uh, tests and right. filling in bubbles the right way. It, it's really about collaborating and problem solving, things they have to do in the workplace. That's one major area of this report. We've talked about this before, where you might have a, a, a geometry class or something like that, and, and you're learning the theorems and the formulas, but yet you say, well, why am I learning this? How can I use this in a, in a practical sense? So you lose interest. Absolutely. There really is no motivation. So by, by bringing the real world into the classroom and, right. and applying, like you say, hopefully will motivate kids to be more excited about what they're doing and, and possibly move forward and not drop out. Exactly. In school after school that have implemented these kinds of relevant programs, whether it's pre-engineering and construction, if you want to be a carpenter or an architect, you need to know your math, you need to know science, and there's a motivation, a, a real drive for students to succeed. Or if you're in the medical sciences field, you need to get the prescription dosages right or you can have bad things happen. Right. And so our students realize uh, this is fun and it's relevant and there's a purpose. And you're also looking at the whole child, right? Yes. It, it's not just this one aspect of, of, of learning, because there's so many more things that really contribute to a young man, a young woman's future. Absolutely, and we want to meet each child where they're at. Where the, what are their family circumstances? What's their neighborhood like? Um, what is their grasp of the English language? Is there a literacy tradition in their home? Are they missing school a lot? Uh, we have in Los Angeles, for instance, 22% of kindergartners missing school, they're chronic, chronically absent. 17% uh, in Oakland, many of the large cities of the state have large chronic absent, absentee problems. So and it sometimes it goes back right to the home. It goes back to the home. So how to engage the parents, and then also how can we make sure that our students are healthy? And so looking at their health, because if they're absent because of health problems or a toothache, um, they are not focused and they're not learning. Also in this book, by the way, there's some information on getting great teachers for every child. Absolutely. So maybe they can contact your office and, and get more information on that. Tom Torlakson, is always a pleasure. And thank you also for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. This has been the Sacramento Report.